Hello friends, I am Neelam Patel, a solution consultant with Beyond20 and in this video I will show you how to do a ServiceNow Jira integration. So today I will talk about bidirectional ServiceNow Jira integration. So what does bidirectional means? So it means when we create an incident or a change or a task in ServiceNow the issue is being created in Jira for that incident or change or task. Now, so this is one directional. Now, when the same issue is updated in Jira, uh, the changes or updates have been propagated in ServiceNow uh, automatically, which is called bidirectional. So two systems talks with each other automatically. When something gets created in ServiceNow, it gets uh, it creates issue in Jira. When something gets updated in Jira, it gets updated in ServiceNow. So for this integration, what we will do is uh, we will use the REST API method for this. So for that, we have to create the REST message, uh, get and post. So what? What it does is using get it creates an issue and uh, with post it updates the issue from Jira to ServiceNow. And also we will write some business rules uh, to create the issue based on certain conditions or to apply certain filters. So now let's uh, see the example. So for example, let's create an incident. In service now and see if the, tic uh, the ticket is being created in Jira or not so uh, let's put the description short description as test Jira issue short description and description as test Jira issue description now let's save this so the incident ending in 203 has been created and the Jira issue key is uh, ST953. So now let's go to Jira and see if it's been created or not. So let's just reload the page. And if you see here, it's uh, the key is ST953 and the incident is ending in 203 has been created here. So let's go back here and check one more time. So incident ending in 203. Jira SU key is 953 and over here in Jira we are seeing that now let's click on that issue so we can see the detail. So what we are seeing here is incident, uh, the issue has been created for this incident number and we are seeing here the short description and who, who is who has created the uh, incident. Now we can add so many other things over here. Uh, we can add a uh, description over here from ServiceNow to Jira. We can also add the hyperlink. So when we click on that link, the ServiceNow incident or task, whatever we have created in ServiceNow will populate it in the another window. So we can uh, also put a sign here. So let's go back here in ServiceNow. So if we change to assign to then it will reflect in Jira. So today in this video uh, we have learned how to create this incident and how the issue has been created in Jira. So in our next video we will see uh, what uh, how the issue when we update in Jira has been updated in ServiceNow. So for that we will see you in next video. Thank you for watching.